everyone, it's Sherry Carroll here for Simon Says Stamp with a color coordinates recipe card for you. I've combined the colors dark chocolate, khaki, burnt orange, green leaf, and white together to create a fall card. To get things going, I have the Sketch Trees stamp set, and I've chosen just the circle stamp for this one. I'll be working with the burnt orange ink and also the burnt orange cardstock. And I'm doing a tone on tone method, so I'm stamping the same ink on top of the same color cardstock. I want to make sure I get this really well inked because it is a really solid stamp. So once I have that inked, I can go ahead and just stamp that right onto the paper. Next, I'll be moving on to a larger oval, and for this one, I'll be using the green leaf ink along with the green leaf cardstock, and I'll do the same thing again. I'll just ink this up a few times, making sure that I get it really well covered. I really like using the clear stamps because you can see when you have enough ink on there just by a quick inspection. And once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and stamp this on to the green leaf cardstock. For my final tree, I'll be using the khaki ink and also the khaki cardstock. And for this one, I've chosen a smaller oval from the same set. And again, I'll just pat my ink pad right onto the stamp, making sure that I get that well covered. And once I'm ready, I can go ahead and cap off my ink and stamp onto my cardstock. Next, I'm stamping the little rings that coordinate with these shapes, and I'm using the Potting Soil Archival ink. And the reason I'm using the Archival ink is because it dries very quickly. As you know, the Simon Says Stamp ink reacts to the paper, and it takes about 10 or 15 minutes for the ink to finally soak in and smooth out. I'll explain why I'm using the archival ink, and I hope that I can make some sense for you. As the Simon Says Stamp ink needs to settle into the paper, if I were to use another Simon Says Stamp ink on top, say a dark chocolate, it may pull the that color in with the other color if I haven't given it enough, enough time to settle. So the archival ink, since it dries really quickly, will sit just right on top and it'll dry so fast that it won't have a chance to wick or bleed. And finally, once I'm done stamping, I'll go ahead and use the coordinating dies and I'll run these through my die cut machine and then I'll have my small shapes to put on my card. Okay, now I have some green leaf paper and also my stitch slopes and hills. And these were really made for wintry looking themes, but I thought it would be really fun to show you how you can do a green grassy hill. So I have the cut line and the stitch line together, and if you notice on the left, I have them marked so that I know they go together. So now that I have them in place, I can run them through my die cut machine. So I'll show you really quickly. So I get a cut line and a nice stitch line, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here just to hold this in place. And I have a panel of white Nina cardstock, I am going to cut two pieces at the same time, and I'm using the stitch bundles in shape, and I'm going to cut this panel, and this will give me a nice cut and stitch line around the entire panel. So once I have that lined up, I'll go ahead and put some temporary tape in place, and then run this through my die cut machine. Okay, I wanted to add a message to my card, but I wanted to do something different, so I have the Giving Thanks card die, and this is also Simon Says Stamp die, and I've cut this from khaki cardstock. So I'm going to set it down towards the bottom of my card, but I also want that finished stitched edge. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and line this up to about the size that I want it, and then I'll go ahead and add some of my temporary adhesive. I'll go ahead and die cut this, and then I can just assemble my card. Here's a look at my finished card. I have cut my tree trunks from dark chocolate cardstock. I've put everything together using a bit of foam tape, I've added a twine bow, and then put everything onto a top folding khaki card. I hope I've given you some inspiration for the color coordinates recipe for today, and thanks for watching!